Hello, this is David D. Hilser. I'm a critical thinker, dissident scientist, and I'm here to tell you the truth about science, something your university professors won't tell you, the mass media t won't tell you, and of course those science evangelists won't tell you either. Today I have three words for you. No, three letters for you. G-P-S. And G-P-S, as my great friend and admired colleague Ron Hatch says, GPS doesn't support relativity, it points out the flaws in relativity. And it's not because relativity sort of works, it's because relativity isn't even used. But they don't want to tell you that. Well, we'll talk about that. Let's say you don't know a whole lot about relativity. Um, GPS, I'm going to show you part of my movie again. Yes, another scene because as soon as I get to 10,000 viewers, I've got a super surprise for the first 100 subscribers. I won't tell you what it is, but as we get closer, I'll let you know. Because we're coming up on 5,000, coming up on 100 subscribers. And I thank you so much for tuning in. I'm building an audience because, hey, no one else is doing this but me. So there you go. And I'm a pretty sane guy. So uh, I'm going to show you a scene from the movie. So let's roll them, as they say. The Global Positioning System, or GPS, are satellites positioned around the Earth to help vehicles locate their position on a map. Ron Hatch uses GPS to drive tractors so precisely that they can position a tractor within a fraction of an inch on the field, saving farmers millions of dollars. GPS uses radio waves that travel at the speed of light to calculate their distance to the tractor. This is what physicists relate to Einstein special theory of relativity. To measure the distance to the tractor, there are clocks on the satellite that operate in microgravity, running faster in space. This is what physicists relate to Einstein's general theory of relativity. For example, I recently published a paper on, on uh, this, those scandalous clocks, talking about this clock effect, in the GPS magazine. And I got one or two comments at all. So, so in general, if they disagree with you these days, they just ignore you. Ignore you. Unfortunately. They, they don't ridicule you. They no, just no. pretend they just, like you're, you're you, not there. Right. That's, that's yeah. pretty much because the way it Because it's easier for them to do yeah. that. They don't have to be accountable then. Exactly. There's been a little Hey, Mom, I miss you. But uh, this is Ron Hatch you saw actually back in 2005. That's quite a... Quite a bit of time back now, about 12 years. He's still running and kicking, and he is still working on GPS and relativity, writing papers on that. But you can see that what G GPS uses satellites, and they use radio waves or electromagnetic waves to communicate with each other. And of course, special relativity is involved, and general relativity is involved too. Special relativity because we send signals between the satellites and to the, sat the satellites to the ground. We also have clocks and clocks run slower or faster or different speeds depending on where they are in the gravitational field. So those have to be just in fact the clocks have to be adjusted for the lower gravitational field above. Now they that they say is a cause of of general relativity. It isn't a cause of it isn't a result of general relativity. General relativity is one idea to describe gravity. It's not gravity. It's not what's happening necessarily. It's what some people think or want to think that's happening, but we know general relativity has big problems. Go look on my YouTube channel right here and look up Mr. Uh, Dr. Edward Dowdy and you will see it does not bend light. Gravity doesn't bend light. Corona and mass bends light, but it doesn't. So that one sort of debunked, but there is gravity, and clocks are what we call mechanical. And in our dissonant world, our in critical thinking world, we have a name for that. It's called rock clock retardation. It is not time slowing down. Clocks go slower. If I freeze you, and you, I wake you up a thousand years from now, did time stop? No. You stopped. You sort of froze, and then you wake up and like, oh my gosh, it's a thousand years later, and we still probably believe in a relativity. I hope not. Please, please, please don't. So if 
you put the clocks up there, yes, there's gravity. Gravity is real. Gravity is a real effect. And gravity, of course, affects clocks, anything mechanical, even atomic clocks, because atomic clocks are made are atoms, and atoms are affected by gravity. So that's one of the problems. Of course, GPS, they say in the newspapers, this shows they have to adjust for general relativity. No, they have to adjust for gravity. General relativity, I will repeat, is a theory. Okay, I've said it twice. Get it? All right. So when your friends are at a party and you're with those intellectuals who are going, ho, 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 you know that, of course, GPS is ho, 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 supports general relativity because ho, ho. You got some ammo now. Dave DeHilser is giving some ammo. Oh, look at the lighting here. It's like really woo. So anyways, now let's talk about the special relativity. Ron Hatch has written many uh, papers on this. And when he writes things like his paper called The Scandal of Those Scandalous Clocks, he is met, as you see in this, in this clip in the movie, with indifference. They don't want to talk about it. Now, how come it's wrong? How come it's not using special relativity the way they, they uh, say in the theory? Well, what happens is professors and few professors today because there are fewer and fewer and fewer and fewer and fewer professors who claim to be specials in relativity. In fact, from what I can see, I can only find one left in the whole world and that's Kip Thorne. All the rest of the people, if you call up universities like my mom did for the movie, no one is only about relativity. Why? Well, because maybe it's not really used and maybe it's really not working. So they better go to other things. How does that happen? If Einstein is so important and relativity is so important, why don't we have people who are majoring it in college? They're not there. Cool. So GPS. I'll give you another little story that's happening right now in 2017, and that is Ron Hatch has been communicating with NASA. NASA has this problem. Of they have about 0.56 picoseconds. Please don't quote me on the numbers, but this is what I sort of remember. Off. On other calcula calculations, they go, man, this, this is really regular. Why is this? Anybody tell us. Please tell us. Ron Hatch with over 30 patents to the rescue. Does some calculations. And I was asking him about this. I asked him on, online on our website. Go to the forums. Forums.naturalphilosophy.org. Look up GPS, and you can see the conversation with Ron, Ron Hatch there. What did he say? He said, well, if, well, NASA, if you take the speed of light and you add 0.56 picoseconds, which just happens to be the speed, additional speed of, of the GPS satellite. See, well, I'll have to do this backwards. C plus B equals eh, eh, eh. Einstein's wrong. You can't add anything to C. You can't go faster than speed of C. Speed of C. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, NASA's not saying anything. GPS doesn't say anything. Why is that? Why do all these people not say anything about GPS? Well, it's simple. It goes back to the same old problem. They don't want to tell you Gandhi was uh, a mass murderer. And Jesus Christ was a terrible person. Excuse me, I'm not here to make fun of those people, but that's the kind of thing I'm trying to give you the way it feels like when people say Einstein is wrong. I have no problem with that. Einstein's a guy. I already talked about genius is an illusion. We put genius on top of a person. He was just a guy. If he's probably around today and saw all the things that we showed him, he goes, oh, pff, yeah, relatively throw it out. What's next? But we get up there and we worship him. Here it is. Einstein's uh, giant jawbreaker. You know this is the best jawbreaker in the world? Inside joke. Go see my uh, little video on Einstein's friend who kept calling me up in the all hours of the night telling me what Einstein said and, and blessed in the world. We worship these people. We can't say Einstein's wrong. So the GPS, they don't want to say Einstein's wrong. They're not going to reveal how they can do their calculations because it's worth billions of dollars. 
So they go, oh, oh yeah, here, here, take all of our calculations right here on my phone, on my iPhone here, right here, um, and, and check out our calculations. See, see if that's using. No. And do you think they're going to say to the world that? No. I remember somebody told me at one of our conferences there was Ron Hatch was talking about GPS, and there was another guy from, who who worked in GPS, and the guy turned to my friend. I won't say all their names, but very close friend of mine in uh, our organization the John Chappelle Natural Philosophy Philosophy Alliance, Alliance, no, Society. And the guy goes, hey, shh, hey, hey, friend. Uh, it's a little dirty secret, but everyone in GPS knows we don't use relativity. Huh. Sort of like Area 51, they don't want to tell you about it because then they'd have to tell you how they do it, and then they have to give you their equations, and they, Ron Hatch has paid a pretty darn good money get those tractors within centimeters because one centimeter more in 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 driving those tractors if you add it up in millions of tractors or tens of thousands of tractors on millions of acres of lawn of lawn <laughs> yeah they're making lawns millions of acres of farmland you're going to save a lot of money they're not going to give it away so they're not going to one say einstein's wrong because they don't want the bad publicity when they say their scientists are crazy and second, they're not going to give them to you anyways just for you to find out because they're proprietary. So it's a catch-22. So this is to tell you, so when you're at your next party with your friends, you have some ammo, your science therapist is, says, look, I used to be like you guys. I just read this stuff and regurgitate it like projectile vomiting. But now I've been watching the Dissident Science with David D. Hilster, and he's been helping me. He's been getting me over this genius worshiping, believe everything what everybody says on faith. Because you know what he says? He says, don't take what anyone says on faith. Be critical, stay critical, stay thinking, and I'm. Your science therapist, David D. Hilster, and you can fill in your name, and you can even use my goodbye from Portuguese in English. Ciao for now.